Center for Information Technology and Development, CITAD, organized its first sensitization program in Kanu at Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps Sunal Headquarters. The program welcomed stakeholders from different organizations, including Idris Adamu, the Commandant of Civil Defense, A.E. Haruna, the Assistant Commandant, Barrister Asmao Sleiman, Social Secretary in Nigeria Bar Association, and also a lecturer in law school. Kau Adam Sili, a lecturer in the Department of Sociology, Bayer University, Kanu. Commandant Idris Adamu comments seated on their efforts toward enlightening the officers on gender-based violence. I'm happy to welcome the facilitators and the coordinator of this program. This uh, event is out, as I said it before, to the coordinator and the state. It has come at the right time. The issue of gender violence has been a total issue in our society. So, and it's attracting international attention, not the university. So I will ask the participants to please pay extra attention. Listen carefully and internalize what you are able to review and make you good of it. Kao Adam Sliman betrays on the concept of gender-based violence and how public can curtail the menace of gender-based violence. Whereas Asma Sliman also cautioned the civil defense officers to do their homework properly by applying wisdom, not the power of their uniform. Zainab Aminu, gender-based Violence officer seated expressed reasons why they choose civil defense out of all security agencies. Nigerian Civil Defense and uh, Security Corps as the first um, civil security organization that is reputable in the community because most people before they even go to the police they come to the Nigerian Civil Defense Corps. So those, that's the reason why we choose civil defense as the first um, um, security um, parastatal to train and also it was uh, part of also a special request from the agenda officer that we that require that she requested that we should train their staff on gender based issues related to gender based violence and how they can mitigate and seek justice for victims. Hadiza Musa Yusuf, Daily News 24. Like, share and subscribe.